Hello, welcome back. Uh, Startup Blade here. Welcome back to the channel and the uh, the Night Models painting series. This episode is going to be focusing on the uh, the Trinity version of Superman, um, Henry Cavill sculpt. It's uh, it's, am <laughs> it's amazing how um, how you can recognise you know recognise his features from his sculpt. It's, uh, you know, they've done a fantastic job on this one. Um, what we're going to be doing is the cape. Um, maybe we'll move on to the uh, the bodysuit in another one. But this one will be focusing on the red cape. Uh, I'm going to start off by mixing the reds. I've, I've picked out about four or five reds. Um, I've got them in my handy little palette here. And... I've added a little bit of retarder because that, that helps a lot when you're trying to blend on a cape. Um, yeah, and I'll just take you through how I do it now. Okay, so um, yeah, basically I've, I've got like a, a palette set up to the side here with various shades of red. Working my way around to orange and I think I'm going to start with the orange highlight. I've already tried it up here and it looks quite thin so it may take a couple of coats to get this going and I've decided to start with the highlights first because the, the shadows are going to be really dark on this and it'll be quite hard to put the highlights in on top of it so I'll start with the highlight and we'll work our way down into the shadows sorry I went off camera there um, let's readjust myself here. So if you think where the, because it's been primed with white from above, you can see where the highlights are going to be. So you can use that as a guide. So I think um, Zenithal Priming is amazing for showing you, you know, where exactly the, the highlights should go, where the shadows are. It is cheating. <laughs> Because it's got a bit of retarder in there, when I go in with the, the next one, which I think is blood red, it's a lot more intense than the orange one was, I think. look a mess at the moment but once you get past a certain stage it all start to come together all right I've got a shade darker now and I'm thinking about the shadows so this is going to be the the gray to black areas from his earth or priming um, if you're unsure of the Xenophil Priming, there's a an episode in the the Two Face mini series. I think it's episode two of that one, where I go through the priming with an airbrush. So you can go back and check that out if you're not uh, au fait with it. But you're thinking, what is he doing? Okay, so this is the extreme shadow now. This is the, 
the black leather from scale 75 this is a really nice color actually Trying to get those extreme shadows in. As you can see, the the oranges wasn't as as intense as the other one, so I'm going to have to go back in with that one actually. Redo some of the highlights. Okay, so that's the first pass. I'm going to let that dry. All, all we're doing at this stage is just sketching in you know, where the highlights and shadows are. I'll come back when it's dry. Okay, so first there's a, there's a small confession to make. While I was filming this first segment last night, I realised that the lighting was way off still. Um, I've tried to sort it out now, but um, that was what I came up with towards the end of the session so that's that's what we're aiming for um, but luckily enough I've, I've got another one to work on so that's that's the end of the sketched phase you know the, the first pass so you can see hopefully that you can see you know there's the light orange there there's the mid red there's the dark red there's the really dark red. You know, there's the, um, you know, the the black leather is under there, and in here. Um, so you can see about four or five different tones, and the next stage then is to apply the tones again, but because because um, it takes a little bit of blending, um, the retarder makes it easier. Um, you just put the tones on, do a quick feather in between, and uh, it, it looks pretty good. I say it's it's a really quick process, you know, and uh, in no time at all, you'll you'll get a finish that um, that'll look like that. And I think it's really nice. So we shall crack on. I say, funny enough, I'm doing Thor at the same time as well. I'm using the same reds. He's about halfway through. Uh, we need to do some more highlights on the top. But as you can see, you know, it's, it gives a nice, um, nice depth of colour on some of the uh, on some of the folds. So let's carry on. Um, I'll start with the highlights once again. So this is the pure Kalahari orange. I'm going to start with. It's going to be up because it's ethyl priming. I want to do the, the lightest parts up towards the top of the figure. I'll do one section at a time so you can see. So now I'm going to shade darker, adding it on there. Um, this is the blood red now. Onto there, and the blood red and half blood red, half black leather there. So there you got you got your five tones on there. Now wet my brush, and you can see where the you can see where the transitions are. You just need to smooth them out. So there. Mm -hmm. 
I'll add a bit more of the Kalahari orange up the top. So I lost that one there. I'll blend that bit of it. This is just water on the brush now. Um, this is the red and black leather. I'm going to go some pure black leather right down the bottom there. That's just water there. So I'll wait for that to dry and we'll come back. Okay, so it is dry now. You can see a nice transition now, starting from the orange there through to the blood red, and then as you see the black leather starting to come in, and then pure black leather there. And that took what 30 seconds, if that. I'll do it again down here so you can see a little better on a, on a bigger fold. So again, we've got the sorry, I knocked the camera there. Again, we've got the the black leather directly under the fold. I'm not going to worry about that little spot for now. As you get towards the bottom of that fold, I'm going in with the black leather and blood red, just in there. And then when the volume of the cape comes out like that, which is this raised area here, that's where I'm putting in the orange. So right up to the cut of the, the start of the fold. So there's the orange. Transition into the orange and red here. And a bit darker, just the pure blood red is here. So it's just like putting stripes on, you know, like um, I can't remember how they, what they used to call it. It's just basic layering painting, I think. But because you've got the retarder in the paint, and because it's um, because it's quite runny as well. When it dries, it just seems to blend into itself. This magic. So I've just got water on my brush now and I'm, I'm feathering in between the layers. Just trying to pull them together. I think we'll go a little bit darker there. So this is the blood red and black leather. And then for this fold in here, I'll come back in with a pure black leather. And I've got blood red now, and I'm going in in there because it's slightly more raised. And then for the top of this one, it's the blood red there. It's a hot day and my paint is even with the retarder it's still drying out. Mind you, this is last night's paint that I'm using. That's how good the retarder is. I just left it on my wet palette overnight. Just had a little, little bit of water this morning. I mean I was ready to go again. Okay, right, so we'll give that a blast with a hairdryer. And um, we'll come back. So that dried quite nicely. Um, you can see we've I've done the rest of the cape now as well. I went up, up in here with the orange and then the reds and then 
the black leather and red there um, but it is it's, uh, I think it's a lovely um, lovely effect and it's really quick and it's easy to do um, I'll just show you if it, it'll really come to life once I put the blue on the suit so I'll, I'll quickly do that just to show you now well, there we are with a couple of coats of the blue on um, it's a wee bit patchy here and there so I'm gonna go um, spend a little a couple more minutes just to trying to blend in you know get a get a better transition on some of the uh, some of the folds but you know for a tabletop Superman it looks pretty good um, I haven't done the back of this one properly yet either so but it's you know you can still see shadows on it you can still see highlights and for the amount of time that we've spent on it it's <laughs> I think they look pretty good um, yeah, so um, that's Thor again. I still haven't finished that one yet, but um, yeah, as you can see, there's there's more highlights on the one on the right. So I'm I'm gonna spend a bit, you know, a few more minutes just working with the you know the Kalahari orange and maybe just the reds. I'll stay away from the shadows and blend them in and try and bring it up a bit up to speed. But there you go. Um, nice and easy about 20 minutes work and uh, you've, you've got a pretty good looking cape there uh, right so that's it um, hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one cheers